When I first started doing surgery, I think the biggest problem that most people encounter is the immediate post-operative process, especially with plastics, because it's hard sometimes to get people to look into the future and see what they're going to look like. And so if you can somehow minimize how much swelling they get, particularly in areas with a lot of motion, like the mouth, um, you can get them to recover a lot faster. You can get them to go about their lives a lot faster. Listen, it doesn't matter if you look great in four or five months. I personally can't be locked up for three months and I don't really know many people that can be. So I started kind of looking around and seeing what works best and this is something where kind of sports came into play because anybody that's played a lot of sports knows that small changes, if you do a small change here, small change here, small change here, small change here, can actually aggregate to a very big change overall. So, you know, I shadowed a lot of doctors in my training and I just kind of started stealing little things from here and here and here and here and here. And it ended up going to from what medications we give beforehand, what kind of electrocautery we use, what settings we use, um, what type of cautery we use, what instruments we're using for certain parts of the procedure, um, whether we're using pickups or not, whether we're using hooks or not, um, what kind of sutures we use, um, and not only that, but then also what we tell them to do afterwards with their medications. So what I found is originally, um, when I was first starting to do lipless, my patients looked like a blowfish for about two months. And uh, I've gotten it down now to where very, very, very rarely will they look like a blowfish for two days. So it's a small change, which makes a huge impact on their ability to go out to go get coffee at Starbucks. <laughs> so it makes a big difference and happy patients, very important. I can't believe I have no pain or anything. Yeah, it's not very painful. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we do a lot of things during the surgery to decrease the amount of swelling that you get, as well as the medications that we give you with health and inflammation. And even with what we inject to what we do before to after, it's all designed to minimize swelling and pain. So it's, it's not too bad. Totally amazing. It's a really easy procedure, Good. like for online. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't want to see what happened on the other side. <laughs> And people take a look at it, like, oh my god. Which is, you know, kind of a double-edged sword because we've gotten to the point where we can get it pretty good. And so the one thing that I can at least hang my hat on is that people see how other doctors end up doing it and how much those people swell. So I always tell people, listen, just because you didn't swell that much, you saw the surgery online and you saw how all that stuff is, you saw how how much swelling and how much dissection there is and how much actual surgery there is. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what takes time to get up from. Yeah. Yeah, I, just, I just want you to look decent as quick as possible. Yeah. Because yeah. God forbid you look like a blowfish forever. It's not a lot. <laughs> oh, so from here, I will see you on Tuesday. At